The Federal Reserve's first interest rate cut in four years was a half point, which is bigger than some had expected. Morgan Stanley's Jim Karen tells CNBC that the Fed is now in a balancing act as it continues to cut rates through next year. So if we think about this as an insurance cut, I think that's the right way to phrase this. So effectively, the Fed is taking a risk. And the risk is, is that if they go too fast right now, if they cut rates too quickly, they may increase inflation. But on the other side of that, the risk is, is that if they don't cut quickly enough soon enough, then they risk a deterioration and potentially a recession in the economy and a rise in the unemployment rate. So what's again talking about threats and opportunities here. Do you see opportunities in the stock market during this rate uh, cutting cycle, despite the risks? You know, I think volatility is going to always create opportunity. There's always going to be opportunities within the market. And, you know, when you look at how to invest when rates are dropping, um, there are definitely some things that you want to kind of pay careful attention to. Uh, Bonds, as an example, you know, bonds tend to perform well when interest rates go down. Um, you know, the longer the bond, sometimes those do well when interest rates are dropping. So bonds usually have kind of an inverse relationship to uh, interest rates, meaning that the the higher those rates are, uh, the more attractive they are to other investors, which then, you know, when rates are lower, the new bond rates are lower. So people will uh, ultimately end up being attracted to some of the higher rates that are in the bond market. And in fact, we've, we've talked about, you know, bonds and interest rates over the last couple of years as we were in uh, this rising environment. And, you know, we are starting to see kind of the trend change, if you will, overall for bonds. The aggregate bond index is now positive this year. Uh, the other thing is, is if you're going to take maybe a little bit of a pay cut. So if you've listened to some of the advice that we talked about with getting uh, either higher interest money market accounts, locking in some higher rates through uh, FDIC insured CDs and or, you know, even using like a fixed annuity to, to lock in rates, you know, as rates are going down, don't forget to pay attention to the other part of your portfolio. Um, a controllable item that you have there would be uh, dividend paying stocks, um, utilities, consumer staples. In the article there that they were talking about when Jim was uh, describing what the challenging uh, balancing act that the Federal Reserve has to do with lowering interest rates is not putting us uh, into a recession. Um, when we look at it, consumer staple stocks, those can be a little bit more of a defensive area to own. Um, regardless of what happens in the economy, I'm still going to get up and use my um, bathroom products. I'm still going to use the grocery store. My wife's going to ask me, you know, what do I want to eat this week? And um, we're still going to have those everyday products. Um, and when you look at those and you focus on some of the dividend paying ones can be, you know, historically a good area with where we're at in this economic cycle. Uh, real estate investment trust, um, you know, lower rates ultimately can benefit those companies that are in the real estate investment trust world because they have, with lower rates, a lower cost to borrow. And that can actually transpire over into growth stocks. Uh, you know, the benefit of growth stocks is that they're going to have lower borrowing cost. Uh, gold and precious metals, we've already seen that trend um, happen, and it can be a way to kind of hedge against inflation, which has been a hot topic for the last couple of years, and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, with the currency devaluation of the U.S. So there's always opportunities. I'm going to be talking, you know, for 90 minutes on threats and opportunities, uh, coming up at our Mancy's event, where we'll be diving deeper on October 15th at 6 p.m., the threats and opportunities facing retirees today. Uh, at the same time, if, if you're not sure, you know, what do I have in my portfolio? Am I positioned? Within our software, we can actually stress test your plan, and we can say, hey, what would your portfolio potentially look like in a declining interest rate environment? It is able to help us maybe quickly identify are there areas where you could take it up a notch and or possibly some threats that you could be facing again by getting an independent portfolio analysis put together it would help you figure out you know how to invest when rates are dropping that independent portfolio analysis you know a great way to identify the personal threats and opportunities in your plan as it stands right now maybe you're doing great and wouldn't it be nice to find that out maybe there are a couple changes that could be made to really uh 
you know, shore up your retirement prospects. And wouldn't that be nice to know as well before it becomes a much bigger issue down the line? So that independent portfolio analysis available to you if you'd give a call, 419 794 3030. Or if you want more information, including how to attend that upcoming event, uh, Threats and Opportunities over at Nancy's on October 15th, give a call to that same number, 419 794 3030, or visit the events tab, and that is at arhq.com.